What's up quarterback fans? Welcome to another QB Spotlight video. Today's video, we're going to be going over Penn State quarterback Drew Allen. We're going to break down some film, look what he brings to the table, and what Penn State fans can expect as he is most likely the quarterback moving forward for the Nittany Lions. So uh, we're going to watch a little film from last year and, and take it with a grain of salt. It's a lot of, you know, backup time essentially, but there is some valuable plays in there and you can still get a good idea, especially the games against Purdue and even Indiana where the game wasn't necessarily completely, yeah, it was kind of out of reach, but still, uh, there's still a good amount of film from last year that gives us an idea of what Aller brings to the table, right? So first and foremost, what's most obvious, he's a great thrower of the football super super accurate but it's not even the strong arm he's what we call a mature thrower he's able to have really good feel on his passes i think that comes from the ability to read and process defenses which was pretty impressive last year for a young quarterback yeah there were times against michigan where maybe it wasn't what you wanted to be but he's young uh, but i think he does a good job processing defenses and being able to read the defense we're going to show that on film he's also a, a fairly decent athlete too he's no sean clifford he's not going to beat a, a d into the edge necessarily but he has enough mobility to escape the pocket and he's a smart runner he knows his liabilities as a runner essentially and so he's able to get upfield and he's looking to, to throw the ball right his eyes are downfield right so <clears throat> excuse me he, he's a mature thrower he's able to process the defense he has enough athletic ability he also took care of the ball last year uh, no interceptions and he had 60 attempts so that's not that's not bad at all right that's basically two games no interceptions uh, essentially uh, if you can go by the stats so i think overall drew Aller has a lot to offer i think penn state fans should be excited i think you're going to see him uh you know ha have some very good games through the air but also some surprise some people uh, on the ground so with that said we're going to watch some film it is not all 22. We like to do that film when we can. It's game footage, it's broadcast footage, so it may not be as clear as far as the uh, the, the, the film goes and kind of you can't see the whole field at times, so I apologize, but we do our best to kind of break it down and give an example. So let's look at the film, but before we do, just consider subscribing to the channel if you like any quarterback-related content, especially college football quarterbacks. We put a lot of content out. We have interviews with current and former quarterbacks. Uh, we do film breakdowns, anything related to the quarterback position is fair game here so consider subscribing and like the video all that stuff with that said let's get into the film here's one of my favorite throws uh, that i've seen of valor and it's again first game uh, he played it against purdue it's a corner route by the tight end or fullback whatever position he exactly is but it's a really really good job of him showing what it means to be a mature throw right it's, it's a good two ball put right in between two dbs ends up being dropped it's a tough catch but a great throw, right? Tough catch for uh, a tight end slash fullback. Does a good job in the pocket. Nice, good touch. Look at that. Drops it right in between the safety and the DB there. That's a really, really good throw. Really good touch to be able to do that. Again, the first game of the season. So that right there shows his ability, his feel on his pass. Like we talked about at the beginning of this video, the feel on his pass is where he really is able to kind of, I think, um, you know, distinguish himself as being a, a really, really good quarterback. So with that said, let's go ahead and keep diving into some of this film. Another example of Aller throwing is going to be just out here. Uh, second and 12, I believe. And I know it's garbage time against Indiana, but still a good example uh, of Aller having a good read and getting the ball out on time, right? So we got it out here. Uh, shallow out here. Aller is reading this and so he sees, okay, I got man coverage. He's kicking this out. This is where space is going to be. He can't get over here in time. Aller sees that. Good read. It's an easy read, right? But still, the ball is out on time before the receiver even turns. Let's see here. All right. Boom. Ball is coming out. Receiver hasn't turned yet. This is where the space is, right? Easy read, but still, you like him getting these reads uh, when he's a freshman compared to, to now. So just a good example of a good read and getting the ball out on time. Here's Aller off a design pass. There's a little play action here. You can tell it's a, it's a design pass, not an RPO, because the linemen stay behind on scrimmage, and he stays in the block. Even the running back has no intention of getting the ball right. But it gets the defense up here. Aller sees that, reads the defense, makes a good throw within a relatively tight window. Uh, but I think it's a good example of showing what more experience can do right so he's here backers come in it keeps this backer in just for a hair so you can see this where he wants to hit as this backer goes this way the backer sets up the window Aller sees that ball comes out now this is the hole right here so a good ball by Aller does a good job not leading him too far um ah what happened here apologize there we go but hitting him in the hole as opposed to flatten him out he kind of is able to lead him where he still goes down the middle Good read there, good throw there. Let's go watch it one more time. Ba ba ba. Here we go. Comes in, able to hit him. Good read there. Of 
Aller and his ability to, to read the defense and get this experience in. So we're going to see him, his first reads over here, this is the read side. We see him come back to backside, hit his guy in stride, gets a first down. Nothing crazy, second, six, they get a first down here. But I still like it, right? It gets a good, it's a good, against a good defense, excuse me. And it shows his ability to process information. Doesn't like this, maybe he has that out whatever reason doesn't throw it so that's his read side comes back to his backside he has an option slash choice route able to come inside here boom that's where the space is able to come back hit him ends up getting a first down right nothing crazy but eight yards or so but i think the the ability to process information at you know game speed fast speed is the takeaway here read side come back backside hits his stride first down a good example of, of, of allen this is his first, the first game of the season actually, right? So he just got put in second half against Purdue. I can't remember if, if, if um, Clifford got hurt. I think he got banged up a little bit, so they put Aller in. Uh, this is a good job showing his ability to throw on the run, right? Now, like we said, he's a good athlete, but he's not gonna burn you by any means. He's not really looking to run. He's always looking to throw, right? So good example here of his ability, right? Right off the bat, rusher comes in, unable to get him. His eyes still remain downfield. Eyes downfield, look, the eyes downfield the whole time. Goes to where's their space. Again, nothing crazy. Eyes downfield, and boom, hits his guy in stride, right? So, again, uh, just a really, really good example in a high pressure situation. Let me go back here. In a high pressure situation of staying calm, staying cool, and collective, right? Like the, the three C's that get used a lot and kind of cliche, but it's true, right? Calm, eyes downfield, move in the pocket, set up a throw. Really, really good job here by Aller. Here's a good example of showing uh, what Aller is going to be as a, a runner. Like, right, like we talk, talked about before, not necessarily going to choose to run, but there are going to be times where he's forced to run, and the style of his, of his, you know, running style is just get up, get what you can, right? And he does that here. So not like Sean Clifford, like we talked about, but able to, like, wants to pass still, wants to pass. He sees his green grass in front. He has enough athletic ability, excuse me, to get upfield make a guy miss and he's big enough where he's not just going to be taken down easily right so we see able to break the pocket get up field takes a hit able to dive forward for the first down of course close to it so again not not going to escape the the pocket or the edge and you know give defenses fear uh, about this his speed but more than adequate to move in the pocket get up field and then able to get some yards with his legs so again, just a few clips that kind of demonstrated what we talked about at the beginning of the video, right? He's able to use his legs to run if he needs to and it fits, uh, but he likes to use his legs to buy time, move from the pocket, great throw of the football. Uh, you saw some of those clips, really good feel on his passes, knows what kind of pass needs to be thrown. And then of course, he's able to process the defense, which I think was pretty good for, for a young guy at the time, able to kind of go read side, then the back side, uh, tough for their looks. And I think he got some valuable experience as a freshman last year. So I'm looking forward to him having a big year and, and the hype is probably going to be uh, validated essentially but Penn State fans quarterback fans just college football fans what do you think about Drew Aller what are you expecting uh, let us know if you want to see the quarterback broken down anything in the comments is fair game but just consider liking subscribing all the YouTube stuff we'll see you next time peace